Okay, so today we are going to be turning our cool wheel designs into something we can laser cut out. Um, so you'll have your finished design. You should open up the sketches tab. If you go into sketches, you should see the sketches that you made. Um, you might have multiple sketches and that's okay. We'll combine them later. Um, I just have one, so I'll right click. I will say save as DXF. And I will save this as Miles Wheel Design. And that's all we need to do in Fusion 360. Um, so we're going to leave Fusion 360 and go to Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and we are going to open Miles Wheel Design.dxf. We want to have it in its original size in millimeters with one to one scale. We'll say OK. Um, oops, and I do not want to update right now. And here's my wheel. Um, and the very first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we cut the outside. So I will change that stroke color to red so that we know that that's a cut. The other things I want to cut out is I actually want some other holes in here. So this one, and you can hold on shift to select multiple lines. So these five little circles and actually this rectangle are all going to be cut out. Um, and I'm just going to go over here and change those to red as well. Uh, or brown or whatever color this is. And so these circles are actually just aesthetic. I just did them because I want them. And then this rectangle um, is the attachment to the motor. So if you do not have this rectangle in the center, you need to go back to Fusion 360 and do it so that your wheels can actually attach to a motor. Um, the other thing I want to do is I actually do want a couple other holes. I think I want these areas to all be cut out. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to make that red. I'm going to make this one, oops, no, this one red. Or, you know, just as long as it's some other color than black. Black is going to be our design on the surface color. And again, if you want to do other types of design, for example, you, didn't ha you wouldn't have to cut these out. You could also... Um, fill them in and do some other sort of layering. So I could use the fill tool to like fill these in. I could fill different parts in depending on how I want, but I'm actually pretty happy with this being relatively simple with just these parts cut out. Um, so I'm going to go to file, save as. I'm going to change this file type to be SVG so that we can use it for the laser cutter. And I will hit save and OK. And then if I open up my browser and I go to app.glowforge.com and I upload from the same area the wheel design SVG. And this will upload. Great, and I've got my wheel. Um, and I'm all going to do medium base wood plywood as the wood. The main design is actually going to be a score. And then each of these other ones is going to be a cut. Cut, 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 cut. Great. So the outside is cut. All the holes are cut. And then because I need two wheels, I'm actually going to make a duplicate. And then I would just put my wood in, position these in the top left corner of the wood, and hit print, and I'd be good to go. And we would have the wheels for our car. When you are ready to print, make sure you see Mr. Miles or Miss Lex, and we will help you with the final print steps. 